Hello, sports fans, sports better YouTube nation. John here with Rigget Picks. Got my co-host with me. Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everybody. Say hello, Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, got Grace on here too. Ricketts, he's right here. Um, I'd get him up in my lap, but then there'd be a little battle going on. So, um, anyways, no, everybody's here. We're rocking and rolling. Uh, Christmas Eve the twenty fourth. Had Houston. They had 20 players missing. I knew they had players missing. I did not realize they had so many key players missing um, on offense and defense. I knew about the defense, which I just figured Hawaii would score a little more than they expected them to. But I did not realize that Houston would not score on offense at all. I thought they'd score way more than they did. So, completely missed that one. It was a 48-hour teaser that just went awry. 5-2 on Thursday or Wednesday. 0-1. It was the only game out there. Uh, missed a couple of soccer, got a little late on the soccer, thought they were starting later, but, um, you know, we roll on. 0-1-1, it is what it is. So, Friday, I've had a great week, looking to finish it strong, going into the weekend, a lot of action on Christmas Day, I will have some picks posted on Patreon, but I'm going to the NFL right now, we've got the Minnesota Vikings at the New Orleans Saints, this game is very intriguing to me, if you look at the numbers, Minnesota matches up very well against New Orleans. If you look at home and away numbers, uh, New Orleans at home, they're 5-2. and two. Vikings are 3-3 three and three on the road. Vikings are coming off two straight losses. Saints are coming off two straight losses. Uh, Saints have lost to Kansas City. Okay, that's figures. And they've lost to Philadelphia. They were in both those games. Minnesota's lost to the Bears and the Buccaneers. Uh, Buccaneers, okay. Bears, eh. Well, hmm. In the last five games, uh, Minnesota's 2-3 and three with their other loss coming to Dallas. Dallas is a surging team late. Might make playoffs, might win their division if they continue to play like they're playing. Saints are 3-2 and two in their last five, having beat Atlanta twice and Denver once. Uh, nothing to write home about there. Drew Brees is back. Uh, baby girl, she's interested in playing with the banner. So uh, we'll let her do that. And she's going to talk. So, you talking? You, want, you talking? You gonna play? Okay, we'll let her play with the banner, and we'll uh, carry on. Excuse me, can I talk? Are you are you giving the breakdown? Are you giving the breakdown? Huh? Are you giving the breakdown? Yeah, that's okay. Sorry about that, guys. But so we got the Minnesota Vikings. They come in averaging 402 yards of offense. Saints are averaging 376. So not a lot. Um, the big difference is the Vikings are a run-heavy team with Dalvin Cook, obviously leading the NFL in rushing. Saints have one of the best rushing defenses in the NFL, giving up 95.6 yards per game. Um, so you got you got strength versus strength here. Um, Passing-wise, obviously the Saints, they got 244 yards uh, average pass per game, 131 on the ground. Uh, Vikings defense is giving up 386 yards a game. 261 through the air, 125 on the ground. The Saints defense is giving up 323 per game. So they got the better, a little better defense here. But in typical bricket pick fashion, I'm going to go with a um, teaser here. Going with a, uh, I think it's a seven point teaser. Yeah, seven point teaser. We're going to tease the Vikings up to plus 14, and we're going to tease the over down to 44. We're going to put $65 on it, which returns 50. So it's a uh, you know, a return of a half a unit there. And um, that's what we're going to go with. So to recap, it's just going to be a teaser, a seven-point teaser. We're teasing the Vikings up plus 14, so you're going to get Minnesota plus 14 and the over at um, 44. So we need it to go over 44 and the Vikings to hit plus 14, which I think both of those will happen. I, I think the Saints will win. I don't know if they cover. The, right now the, the juice is on Minnesota covering at plus seven. I, I lean that way, but I'm not – totally convinced that'll happen because we know Kirk Cousins' history in the primetime. Yes, he did break that this season. This has been a weird year, but this is the season that Kirk Cousins got it done in primetime. So he, he, he's over that, I think. We, we, we can expect a good um, shootout here, I think, what we're going to get. Uh, two questionable good defenses. I mean, can be at times, but not, not historically in this season. Not great. So we're going we're gonna to see some points, I think, and um, I just like the Vikings plus 14 and the over 44. And, um, you know, $65 to return 50, 
it's, it's, it's not great value, but it's value. Nonetheless, it's like minus 130 is what it works out to. So we're going to take that. That's going to be your official Ricketts gridiron pop pick of the game. Ricketts is gone now, but um, you know what? We're rocking and rolling. Baby girl here needs to go play with the banner or, or something. So we're going to get that done. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. Say Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas, everyone. Here's your free play. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn notifications on somewhere over here. Over here. You'll get the videos as soon as they drop. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.